I recently did a review on the Intec Gaming Fighting Stick that converts your existing RK1 up into a Nintendo Switch RK machine. What if I told you it also works with a PlayStation 4? All you need to do is buy an additional dongle. That's right guys, it is possible and that's me playing Street Fighter V on my RK1 up using the Intec Gaming Control Panel. Let's find out how I did it. What's going on guys, this is Toycade and if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and support the channel. And if you like this video, hit the like and share the video. If you haven't watched my Intec Gaming Fighting Stick review, make sure you check it out as I do an unboxing and an in-depth review. For this video, I just want to show you how to get more out of your Intec Gaming Control Panel as I absolutely love this product for the cost and it's really bang for the buck and converts your Gen 1, Gen 2 RK1 up into a multi-K connected system. In short, the Intec Gaming Switch Fighting Stick is basically a control panel that connects to the PCB board that's included and converts the HDMI signal from a Nintendo Switch to the screen and the control panel connects to the Switch via Bluetooth. So how do I get the control panel to work with PlayStation 4? Well, I can confirm that PlayStation 4 does not recognize the control panel as a Bluetooth controller as I pretty much went out on a limb because I know the control panel is recognized as a pro controller when connected to the Switch. So naturally you would assume that all you need to do was buy a third party dongle which will enable this compatibility as there are many products out there that offer this function. Which is what I did, but I was wrong and I can confirm that this does not work as a Bluetooth controller with the PlayStation 4. I then decided to connect the dongle to a USB to micro USB cable because the control panel had a micro USB slot which Intec Gaming claimed only worked for firmware updates. But I couldn't resist trying and it worked. Just connect a basic USB to a micro USB cable from the PlayStation 4 via the dongle to the control panel and boom, you're in business. This is even better than a Bluetooth connection. I mean, I'd rather have a wired connection over Bluetooth any day, especially for fighting games, which input delay is more noticeable via Bluetooth. The Intec Fighting Stick came with one USB to micro USB cable. So you need to purchase two dongles and an additional cable if you wish to set up two players. I won't be going through the whole setup process as I have covered this in my initial review. So make sure you check out that video. Or I'll leave a link in the description below. There are many dongles out there, so it's pretty much a lottery, but I got lucky with this one. The reason why I chose this dongle was its compatibility with PlayStation 4. So the dongle I purchased was a JYS wireless controller adapter for the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 and PC. This dongle allows you to wirelessly via Bluetooth or wired connection your PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 and various Nintendo controllers to your Switch, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3 and PC systems. I purchased this on eBay but you may be able to find this on AliExpress. I'll leave a link below in the description. I haven't tested it with my PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 5 yet. I might get that when I have time. But based on what I've tested here, there is definitely possibility that the Intec Gaming Control Panel may work with other dongles out there. I believe in the Facebook mod pages. There has been reports that the 8-bit though dongle has worked with other retro classic consoles as well as the PlayStation 3 via Bluetooth. For me, I really wanted to play the PlayStation 4 on the RK1 up, more for Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 5. Yes, the resolution and aspect ratio is a killer for most and not everyone's cup of tea, but it really allow owners to repurpose the Gen 1, Gen 2 cabs as they become obsolete. So it's now possible to have a dedicated Nintendo Switch cab and also another one for the PlayStation 4. Having the ability to play Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 5 on the control panel has also exposed many flaws with the product that I want to share. The original joystick is decent at best, but the eight-way octagonal gate makes it quite impossible to play Street Fighter games. And when I opened up the device, switching the gates was pretty much impossible without breaking it. I was forced to switch out the joystick with a Sunwa that had a square gate, but the thick control panel made the shaft too short, so it's something that you need to consider and get shaft extensions. The lack of space to rest your palm is further exposed when playing Street Fighter 4. I found it quite difficult to perform basic combos such as FADC in comparison to playing on my Vulex or Mad Cat's fight stick. So if you're investing this to play Street Fighter 4 or Street Fighter 5 on your RK1 up, I would reconsider, but for other games, it should be fine. All buttons with the exception of the right analog stick and the D-pad is mapped on the control panel, and it's very much functional for all fighting games and a lot of modern and retro games. This also suffers the same limitation as the Nintendo Switch setup, not being able to power up from the PlayStation from the Intec Gaming Control Panel directly. And you still need to power it up from the main power button on the PlayStation or via a DualShock controller. But the one advantage this PlayStation 4 setup has over the vanilla out of the box Nintendo Switch setup is that there is no syncing required. Once the unit is on, it's a matter of pressing the PlayStation equivalent button on the control panel and logging into the PlayStation as you would with a DualShock controller. Repeat the same steps as you would for a two player setup on the second player's side on the control panel and you're good to go for two players. It's very simple and straightforward. I found this much easier and quicker than the switch process. One function I've got to cover in my initial review is a volume switch and an important one. The volume on the control panel, whether it's the Nintendo Switch or the PlayStation is very loud. It has three settings, off, low and high. 
but like the Gen 1 cabs, low is loud and high is extremely loud. So I will recommend that with the control panel artwork included in the Intake Gaming control panel, you don't remove the speaker cutout holes and leave them on the artwork as this helps dampen the sound level. The USB dongle of purchase should not be confused with the Intech Gaming ones available on Amazon. This is a JYS dongle. It is not an official Intech Gaming device and it's just one I randomly purchased on eBay to test. I can't guarantee if other USB dongles out there will work for PlayStation 4 other than the JYS one tested here. So please test at your own risk as I won't be responsible if you damage your Intech Gaming control panel in the process. So what are my final thoughts on the Intech Gaming control panel after owning it for more than a month? Overall, this device has given my dust collecting arcade one up more life than it's ever had. My kids are now always wanting to play the Nintendo Switch on the arcade one up something that all us RK1 Up collectors hope to see every time we buy a new cab. And for us collectors that barely play our RK1 Up, well having this Intech Gaming mod has made me appreciate my old Gen 1 Gen 2 RK1 Up cabs more, as I can play more retro and modern games. So I highly recommend buying this, especially now that it's possible to, with the addition of a USB dongle you can play other consoles, not just the Nintendo Switch. This is not a professional fighting stick and it really shows when playing such games as Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 5, but it does a job well for casual gaming. Intech Gaming has seemed to be creating new products that can be integrated with an RK1 up, and they are planning on releasing a Sega Genesis version that allows you to play cartridges directly on the control panel, and possibly a classic Nintendo version as well. I will definitely keep an eye out on Intech Gaming, as they have some cool projects in the pipeline. There you have it guys, I just want to share this Intech Gaming control panel is pretty amazing. Such mods will require a lot of effort and cost and being able to do this for all 435 US and play my Nintendo Switch or PlayStation 4 on my RK1 Up is pretty amazing. So it's no brainer, if you have a spare Gen 1 Gen 2 cab lying around, I definitely recommend getting this. So finding stock will be your biggest challenge, but Intech Gaming has told me that 200 units has just hit the docks and will be available on Amazon very soon. So keep your eyes out and I'll leave the link below. All right guys, that's all for this video. If you want more gameplay or any questions around Intech Gaming finding stick, let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.